In this video we're going to be doing the receiver install for the TBS Crossfire um, and we're going to be installing it on the DYS F4. Uh, if you're using the QX7 with the micro uh, module in the back you'll need to do the signal inverter mod if you haven't already done it. Um, I'll put a link now so that you can find that video and um, once you do that follow that link back to this and you can carry on with your build. If you've already done that, then yeah, just carry on watching. So first of all, you can see there we've got the receiver labeled ground, five volt, channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. That's the side that we're gonna be using. We're gonna see connectors in that side. The opposite side says BST. That's, um, we don't wanna be using that side. I think it's BST, I can't remember now. So we're gonna strip these wires back, strip about three mil of the sheaf in back and then we're going to tin them up ready to solder to the flight controller yeah so in this we're using the DY SF4 Pro uh, but the same applies for any flight controller um, have a look online see if you can find a pinout diagram of your flight controller and just pick a spare you are you need the TX and RX specifically um, on the DYS we'll use, we're going to be using the S bus pad as which is going to be the RX1 and the TX1 pad so as you can see there um, for any other flight controller the top of that uh, picture there you can see we've got ground to ground 5 volt to 5 volt RX1 to CH1 and TX, TX1 to CH2 uh, specifically for the DOS we want ground out to ground in on the flight on the receiver 5 volt out to 5 volt in on the receiver, RX1 or S bus to channel 1 on the receiver, and TX1 to channel 2. So if we look at the diagram for the DYSF4, you can see S bus on the right hand side there in blue. Um, that's where we're going to channel uh, solder channel 1 to, and just above that, you can see in blue again, TX1 is where we're going to solder channel 2. So Let's get on to doing a bit of soldering. So, got the chameleon in front of us there, a D waste board. You can see I've already pre tinned them pads, and there's a few others as well because I've used this in a previous build for something else. So, I'm wiring the ground to the ground on the D waste. So, that top row of pins is the ground rail, and then we're going to solder the 5 volt in to the 5 volt out pad on the DOS which is the next row down so now we need to be soldering channel 2 uh, sorry channel 1 of the receiver um, to the S bus pad and I got muddled up with the wires and wired them the wrong way around so we're just going to change that over now so that's channel 1 on the receiver to the S bus pad. Once we've got that on there, yep. So that's the four, five volt on there now. So channel one to S bus pad, which is RX or receive RX one, and channel two on the receiver to TX one, which is transmit. And that's it. I'll just do a bit of a close up there, so you can see, sort of see if it'll focus. One focus. There we go. Uh, you can sort of see what wire goes where. <laughs> It'd be better if they were colour coded. But yeah, next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Anyway, I'll put a link up to the top now for the next video in the series of the crossfire wiring up and set up. Uh, please like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe. That'd be great. Thanks for watching.